Hi, I'm Five Pound Pete, and in this video I'm going to show you how I fabricated a low-profile insulated fiberglass floor for my van. Before I cut the, the foam for the rear of the van, I made a template around the wheel well that I could use as a, as a guide so that I didn't waste any material. And I made the template out of ram board, which is a, a thick cardboard that works pretty good to make templates. Uh, so this is all the detail in the back of the van for around the wheel well. Uh, at the other end, I'm covering it up with, with furniture and, and structure, so I made that just square at that end. But this uh, mimics the, the, the rear of the wheel well. And so with this template, I could go ahead and cut the, the foam and get it really close to the right size uh, without wasting any material. So oh, this, this is the finished floor for our van. Uh, we're, we had a, a low roof ProMaster. Uh, we chose to uh, get it to fit inside our garage, but it presents a challenge that I don't want to eat into any of the headroom, which is pretty limited, with a really thick floor. Um, but we also wanted a, an insulated floor because we go camping at places that get below freezing, we go camping at places that get really hot, and so we wanted to get uh, you know, some insulation in the floor. Uh, so I started looking into uh, foam that I could put into the floor uh, to get that insulation. And uh, I settled on this, uh, this uh, formular material for my floor. It has an R value of about three, uh, but it's super flexible. And if you set it in the floor, the floor has uh, plateaus and valleys. And when you stepped on it on one of those valleys, it would flex and deform and it's just no way it's strong enough to be used as a floor material. And so if you put this in for insulation and then there's a plywood on top of that, you end up with a floor that's pretty thick and eating into my headroom. So my son suggested that I could fiberglass it and make it as rigid as a, uh, a surfboard. And so uh, I went ahead and, and uh, Got some uh, some flooring material uh, for doing fiberglass, and I took uh, the material and, and put a little of the fiberglass fabric down on it, uh, mixed up some epoxy uh, in these little cups. I used these cups, they were really great because they have a straight wall and a straight bottom. So when you go to mix it, you can make sure that you get it really mixed well uh, before you start applying it also made it in small batches so I could work on a small section of the floor at a time. So I just pour that on the floor and then squeegee it out with a little piece of stir stick and just squeegee, squeegeed out the, the uh, epoxy and then squeezed it through the fabric to saturate the surface of the, of the foam and then squeegeed out all the air bubbles and that worked out pretty well and ended up with, uh, with this surface that uh, uh, relatively flat or extremely flat and uh, extremely strong. So uh, I took the foam before I did this and, and cut two four by eight sheets of the foam, fitted it inside the van, uh, made sure that it all dry fit really well. Then I put it on the floor on a sheet of plastic, uh, put it all together, put the fabric down, did all this the uh, fiberglassing on one side, let that cure and then carefully flipped it over so that I could do the other side uh, and then did the same thing and, and fiberglass both sides of the material. So what I ended up with was a material that's incredibly rigid. It's unbelievably stiff and strong uh, and uh, it's just you know, an amazing, amazing subfloor for my van. Uh, the entire subfloor is a half inch thick and it's uh, 16 pounds. I could lift the whole subfloor with one hand and you know move it around. It was like no big deal. It's such a light floor, but super super strong. Then once uh, I had that all done, I put it all in the van, did some minor trimming to make sure that when it sat down in the van, uh, it, it didn't squeak against the walls. It hadn't made a little bit of clearance, um, and. Uh, and then, this, and then proceeded to put the flooring material on it. Uh, the flooring I chose for the van is this nickel pattern uh, flooring. 
Um, it has you know a nice non-slip uh, surface on the top to, to walk on. It also has a little bit of fabric on the back. Uh, and using some testing, I uh, determined that the, the glue I was going to use did a, a fabulous job of being able to glue this material onto the fiberglass. And uh, it, it's super strong. And so I ended up using two full cans of this uh, high strength uh, spray on adhesive, super easy to use. Uh, I ended up rolling up the fabric, well, laying it out, cutting it a little bit larger than the floor, so I had a little excess, rolling it up, and then uh, starting at one end, spray a little adhesive on the fabrics and on the floor, roll it out, making sure that that was all squeezed down. Um, after you let it set up for a minute, it gets really tacky, and when you push it down, it just stays. It's really good. So you just have to push it down, and uh, it tacks down. And then you spray another section, and you roll it forward. You spray another section, and you roll it forward. And so just working by myself, I was able to uh, apply the, the flooring to the, uh, the subfloor. And uh, it was uh, pretty straightforward. Now, the completed floor with all the, the flooring material on it, now weighs 37 pounds. Uh, still an impressive amount of uh, flooring for that amount of weight. Uh, and I avoided using you know, plywood or, or something that could absorb water. So everything there is, is can't absorb water. Uh, and so it, it's uh, ready to go into the van. Uh, and I think, uh, uh, you know, that's the next step. So before you can put in the floor, you need to prep the the band's floor to make it appropriate for the, the, you know, the, the flooring. And one of the problems or features of the ProMaster is they have uh, plateaus and valleys. And in some places, the valleys get very wide. And so to, to solve that problem so that the floor didn't have to span such a wide space, I installed uh, my own little uh, uh, plateaus. I found this material at Home Depot that's PVC molding and it just seems perfect for doing this job because it doesn't absorb water and you can avoid putting in any kind of organic material underneath the, the band floor. And so I, I sliced this material and made my own little plateaus and then affixed those plateaus at different places in the band that had really wide uh, valleys. So right here is where you would be getting in and out of the van a lot. So I put a lot of structure under this section so that when people get in and out of the van, there's not a chance of collapsing the floor or damaging the floor. I also put this material a couple other places. Uh, in the back where I'm gonna put my water cans because they're very heavy. And also underneath the battery where I'm gonna bolt the battery down to the floor. Uh, I wanted the floor to be extra strong. So I in, installed uh, these little uh, uh, plateaus. Um, also, before you put the, your floor down, um, you want to install soundproofing. And so this is a, some soundproofing material. It comes in these sheets, you cut it to size. You lay it, in this case, I laid it in all of the valleys uh, where I could uh, you know, use some sound deadening and rolled it out with the with a roller to make sure that the, the, the sound deadening material was adhered to the van and, and doing the most good for doing sound reduction. So after the floor is gonna be put down, I'm gonna take the same kind of material and cut it to exact the right height, install it at the threshold so I have a really solid, strong structure for people to stand on when they step in and out of the van so they don't crush the floor or damage the floor. So the installation of the floor is complete. Uh, I took the fabricated floor that I made and laid it on the floor of the van. And then to finish it, I installed some non-slip uh, stair edging across the thresholds, the one here in the sliding door and the one in, across the back of the van. And so that completes it and uh, gives it a nice finished look. Um, so I, I hope this uh, video is uh, useful and thank you for watching.